Good afternoon, Roseburg Alliance Church. Uh, this is Nathan and, and Pastor Grant coming at you from the sanctuary. Wow, what an unusual week it has been. Want to spend just a minute giving you some things to think about uh, as we consider Governor Brown's mask mandate and then talk about this Sunday's services. And then uh, after the video, I want you to take one second, click on the link below and just indicate if you're coming this Sunday, which service uh, best fits your family. Uh, Pastor Grant, how should we think about this mandate from a biblical point of view? About three scriptures that come to mind are first Christ's great command to love God and love your neighbor. And strange as it seems, and this time it seems like loving your neighbor means staying home if you're sick and wearing a face covering in public in case you're sick and don't know it. You don't want to get somebody else sick. We want to love our neighbors and be known for our love for God and for our neighbor. Secondly, as uh, Romans chapter 13 says, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there's no authority except that which God has established. So we want to be known as people who are submissive to the governing authorities, realizing that God, the ultimate authority, has put people in place, and we want to make their job of governing easy, and we want to submit to them as far as it's possible by the Bible. And this is not a case of religious persecution. It's a case of public health, and we want to do what we can to keep people safe. And then finally, I think of Paul often limiting his own personal freedoms for the good of others, especially for the good of the gospel. And I think of people in our congregation who are physically frail, who have compromised immune systems and would love to come to worship, if we can make it possible for them by following these mandates, it seems like something that God would call us to be doing. Pastor Nathan's got a few comments about this Sunday's plan. Thank you, Grant. Yeah, so uh, we're going to try some new things this Sunday. It's a week of new. It's a week of change. So this Sunday is going to be a week of new and a week of change. Uh, we've had three services. This Sunday, there'll be just two services. There'll be a nine o'clock indoor service and indoor of course as you have all read and are well aware of means masks are required so we will be wearing masks uh, fortunately there's some intuitive loopholes in the mandate that allow for people leading worship or preaching to uh, not use or, or have their mask off for a time uh, so that's great. The 9 a.m. service will also be broadcast virtually on YouTube and Facebook. Love for you to participate in those ways. Second, we're going to have an 11 o'clock outdoor service. Many of you cannot stand wearing a mask. Some of you have asthma, respiratory issues. Uh, some of you get claustrophobic. Whether you can't wear a mask, don't want to wear a mask, or just want to sit outside and enjoy the breeze and the sun, Join us at 11 o'clock for an outdoor service. We'll be right outside uh, the lobby on the front porch and in the fire lane. Would love to see you all 9 o'clock indoors in person with masks, 11 o'clock outdoors. Uh, as you know, masks are not required, but physical distancing is uh, for that outdoor service. Uh, last, just want to encourage you. Take a second, click on the link, and let us know which service best fits your family so we can continue to give thoughtful dialogue to how we best adapt week over week to be in compliance with the governor's mandates, but also uh, thoughtful about creating as many ways for us to gather as possible. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. God bless.